Hello everybody, this is Janie. Um, I haven't done an update on my greenhouse in a while, so I figured I'd jump on here and kind of show y'all around and what I've been doing in my greenhouse. So let me get you turned around. Alright, uh, we just recently replaced the uh, plastic on my greenhouse. I had a big split all the way down. It was about 7 euro plastic. So uh, you're supposed to change it. It usually lasts around five years so we got seven years out of it and some storms have been through some storms so we had to get it replaced and uh just part of keeping things up but anyway and we got the shade cloth back on it and my hubby is uh redoing some of the board work on the front because with time water and everything things start to uh rot and different stuff so we're kind of fixing all that up and we got to get the back done but I want to just take you through a quick run of what it looks like right now I got a lot going on I've been uh you know in my little Etsy shop I had to keep things going in here but uh been keeping uh we just had to do some work on the um hydroponics getting some new pumps and stuff and getting that situated but I think we figured it out uh, but anyway, here is what it's looking like right now. Um, I've just recently got into, uh, well, I've been, I've been in getting into succulents this past year. And uh, if you've seen some of my posts, um, I've been making little concrete containers. I made all of these up. And I've got them in here. And... Uh, I've sold a few on Etsy, and uh, I don't get out with my stuff much because it's just a lot of work and uh, time, and you don't never know if they're going to sell, or uh, you'd have to do an all-day event or something, and uh, so I just try to sell on Etsy, or if anybody comes out here, uh, you're welcome to come out here and look through and, and uh, get you some of this uh, stuff, but... Uh, like I said, I mainly try to sell on Etsy. All my stuff is mainly set up for that other than these concrete containers. And uh, they're all pretty and ready to go. And uh, so I'm just getting into doing all this. And uh, I think they're really pretty. I love to come out here and just look at them <laughs> and grow them. And uh, I've got a lot of succulents, little baby succulents coming along. And I have some of that listed on my Etsy site. But anyway, I have a few new things going in here. This is one of my new, uh, it's called the Cupid Pepperoma. Anyway, um... And this is what it looks like. And I sell cuttings off of it. I just got that listed. And uh, th over here is uh, something new. These are uh, baby bunny bellies. And they're real pretty. They're fuzzy and got a purple back going on to them. They're real per pretty there. I've added them to my um, uh, Trade of Scandia Winter and Jew collection. And I have it... Um, have them listed on my Etsy site. And this, this is my burgundy, and I got this one, and these are baby sun rose up here. I've already have had them listed. They're the red ones. Um, I have some that have the yellow flower to it too. I don't think I got them listed yet, but uh, I have the. These are called the fuzzy purple, and. Uh, so I got the queen, the purple heart queen, and a bovarian over here, Bolivian. Got all these different things going on here. Got popos and uh, just a lot of different stuff. This is a found it one of my reservoirs for my system. Like I was telling you, we had to kind of. We had to get new pipe and uh, stuff going on, and then my hubby tried to kind of make it to where it runs back in because it had too much of a flow. It was causing my 
system to overflow because it had too much water going on in end of that time and now we've got it set right we had to do that on both of the systems because uh with all these plants and all the roots running through the pipes it, if you don't got a slow um flow going through it'll cause uh, a lot of it to seep out the top so you don't want that to happen and you'll lose your water constantly having to fill it up and I don't like having to do that and I put my solution in it and it has to stay right this is a little system I got going here got things on it and things growing in it really the main thing I got growing in it right now is my little froggy plants they uh, really seem to like it so that's I mainly got that going on in it with the, uh, I've ran out of room, running out of room, so I've had to put some of my stuff back here. A little pipe bottle system. I've been uh, doing the routine of cleaning up. I'm fixing to have to do a lot of cleaning up on it and getting all these overran cuttings and uh, put them in there. I've already started doing that and re recutting them. I have some over here. I'll show you what I've done yesterday. We'll walk around this way. Let's see, what did I do with them? Uh, Sometimes you go to looking and you can't find what you did. I must have put it on up here. I may have put them on the other side. Let's see. I forgot what I done. Let's see what oh that it is. <laughs> I've got some of these. This is what it looks like when you first put them in here. Uh, get those and I think I put some on the other side. Yeah, I must be what I done. No, here it is. I put them up here. This is some new ones I just got cut that was overran. I did all these up here. Worked on that yesterday, and I'm going to get all this it's in these pipes. So I'll get some of them cut down through my Etsy side. A lot of times I just sell just cuttings, but a lot of, on some of the stuff I sell them rooted. So I get them going in there and get them rooting. Let's see. I was noticing this yesterday. This is my um, shrimp plant that I've got rooting, and I've got them, and they, they're starting to root for me. Once those get rooted well, I'll get them back up and going. Right now, I'm out of them on my Etsy site. But once I get they get real well rooted, I'll get them back on there. But uh, that's just the kind of stuff that I do in here and just keep it going. It's a good thing about plants. Just give them a little TLC and, and keep working with them. They'll keep going and going for you. But this side here is what it's looking like. See all this overgrown stuff? I'll be uh, clipping and getting it back. Got to keep it clipped or it'll uh, start rotting like this. So this right here is something I got to work with soon and get it back clipped back and uh, looking good. I want it to look more like, you know, this. This is some of my bridal veil that I've got. Just got in here. Some more stuff I did. Getting them back going. All clipped back. Just kind of chug along at it. Don't even realize what you do a lot of times i'll clip this stuff and i'll put it in a box and i'll go in the house and then i'll get it all put in them cups and come back out here and do it find ways of uh not having to be on my feet so long now well, this is another plant that i've got i listed not too long ago the alumina aluminum plant and the way i sell it is bare root um rooted see how it's rooted very well for me and uh that's another new thing that i've got listed 
This is one of my, my mother plant. Once it gr grows out again, I'll clip and put, get more going like that. This is my green wandering jew. And I've been trying to work with this little peacock plant, and it does okay. I haven't uh, listed it yet, but I've got to get it doing better for me. See if I can get a bunch of it going and trying to get it to root and all. Some things don't work out. Some, most things do, but some don't. But that's just the whole part in it. That's the way life is, isn't it, right? <laughs> yeah, I sell these uh, uh, trees. These are, uh, I call them the uh, willow oak tree. Uh, but I've got a bunch of them that I've, I've got in pots that grew up from up in seedlings. And uh, I sell those. People seem to like to buy those. Also, I just recently listed uh, the little cedar trees. I've been finding the seedlings of them. And I've been pulling them up and got them in here. Listed them. And uh, little seedling saplings of uh, the cedar tree. <laughs> so, sometimes people like to get them little trees and get them growing and for whatever reason and uh so i have them available <sighs> but anyway that's what's going on now it's just me working in here so i have a lot of stuff and a lot of mess to clean up but i just do what i can and can what i can't till i can that's my favorite saying but anyway this is just my tropical oasis paradise in here. And I just get in here and and play and do what I can and and just look at things. Funny thing is, funny fact, I I can't have indoor plants because the uh, soil in plants, if it, it it somehow I'm allergic to it and I, it gets me all stopped up. I have them allergies. <laughs> So I take my allergy medicine, but out here it don't bother me having it out here. But for some reason I can't have them in the house with me. But I am looking into starting to do some type of hydroponic stuff in the house where I can have plants. And I'm going to do that, I believe. I've been uh, looking into that. But I had to at one time have plants all over my house and realized I had to get them out of there. <laughs> So I stayed stopped up and feeling bad all the time. This is another pretty Jew that I have. It does really well for me. I'm getting them back going. I've got to get me some more in. I just put these in here to root. <clears throat> this is my yellow. Now this one's the red, but I have a yellow somewhere of the uh, baby sun rose. I had to find them. I hadn't even took it to the other side of my greenhouse. It's just, uh, you know, you've seen it before. You've been watching my videos, just where I keep all my mother plants and personal plants that I like to uh, get clippings off of or pull out once the winter's over and, and danger of frost and all. And enjoy outdoors, but uh, oh, there it is. Got all that my little mother froggy plant the, where I get all my clippings from my little froggy uh, oak leaf they call these frog or oak leaf they're real pretty I enjoy watching it grow and I just got a bunch of clippings off it yesterday and put them in my system brazel these are a couple of new this new poco I got in this is the brazel popo. This is a, um, that's a Hoya plant. And I put some cuttings in the uh, hydroponics. And uh, I believe they're doing well. I have to go check on them. But uh, I believe they're, that's another thing I haven't listed yet. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I've listed the brazel. I'd have to look at that. I'm not sure if I have or not. But, uh, this is a green spider plant here. People really like the uh, 
getting the green ones. I have variegated too, but the green ones sell really well. I've got a bunch of babies on here that I'm going to have to get out and put in my hydroponics. Just a, a lot of different things to do. My stick plants. Got several of them hanging back here. I've got them in, the, in my hydroponics and back here. <clears throat> well, this is a lot of my stuff that I'm fixing to get my hubby to pull out. I had uh, actually kept these um, pineapple plants and um, some indoor banana trees. I kept them alive throughout the winter. They usually die on me, but they didn't this time. So I'm hoping once we pull them out, they may grow me a few bananas. But uh, I'll be separating them. There's another one coming out in there. I had started with one, and I've got two this size now, and I think they each got little ones coming up on them, so I'll separate them at some point um, this year. Put them in new pots. All of you that love to work with plants know what I'm talking about. But, uh, I watered in here the other day, but looks like it may be needing some water again. We had to be careful with our system. Uh, we have uh, citrus trees in the middle, and if you water, use the system too early while the blooms are, are just on there and the little fruit, it'll knock it all off. So this year we're going to, last year we lost a lot because uh, we used the system too soon. So now we're just using the water hose and watering at the roots, and and we're going to let it, the fruit get probably about an inch or so big before we start putting the overhead system on just to keep that from happening again try not to lose the fruit off our citrus trees hey just wanted to take y'all on a quick run of my greenhouse let you see what's going on and uh just because i hadn't done one in a while and and uh, now that it's warming up and things are starting to get moving, I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more in my greenhouse and working with things. So uh, I'll be keeping you updated. Thank you.